Okay there guys, Crossflex here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, we escorted an old friend, uh, team leader of Team Meanies, Gengar, to Mount Freeze. And today's episode, it looks like we'll be picking up where we left off. Yeah, late riser. It's the murky cave next. I'll need your help for that. Eh, sure, why not? Then we'll go to the murky cave. Gardevoir's physical form, that's where it is. For my sake, Gardevoir. Nah, that's not important. I just feel like going. Heh, <laughs> okay, go there for me. Alright, so quite a wordy asking of us to take him to a place, but yeah. So now we have access to the murky cave, and as always, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare a team, as well as my items off screen. And I'll meet you guys back at the start of the dungeon. Once again, Gengar is a total lightweight. When you escorted him through Mount Freeze, at least you could position yourselves well enough to force Gengar into a wall so that he would be protected from enemies, but you can't really do that effectively here, since many of the foes are opposing ghost types. And of course, Ghost is super effective against Ghost, and they can hit through walls. So Gengar loses a lot of protection in this place. I recommend bringing party members who can handle ghosts easily. If you've seen my Dark Knight Relic video, then you'll have an idea of what kind of team to bring along. Even though Murky Cave is a post-game dungeon, the enemies aren't that strong at all. It seems that the developers had a little mercy when designing a story mission that forces you to escort a weak Pokemon. The worst hazard to deal with is the plentiful poison effects. I recommend attaching some Petra Scarves to prevent the status altogether. Also, the only items you'll find here are Poke, unless you trigger a monster house. Anyways, since enemies are so weak, they're usually not worth it to stop and gather experience, I recommend making your stay here as short as possible, so as to not risk Gengar's life any more than necessary.
Okay, okay. We're here at last. This is it. This is the deepest floor of the murky cave. Oh, look. There's a dais. There's a hollow spot. I guess the stone goes in there. Gengar placed the nine tail crest in the hollow spot. <laughs> What's this about? Nothing's happening. I thought I heard something. Yeah, <laughs> you just say something. Nope, just like with all other post-game story missions, Skipper is remarkably silent. That's odd. I could have sworn I heard something. Well, ka. Welcome. Welcome to the Murky Cave. What? Where's that voice coming from? Who are you? I am the Judge of Darkness. You have nothing to fear from me. I mean no harm. Just now, a key was inserted to break a curse. Well, I wouldn't say just now. I mean, you did wait a good little while before you decided to speak. The, the curse. It is, is the one on Gardevoir. Yeah, exactly. Please, lift the curse now. I, I cannot, cannot allow, allow that right away. away. I, I must first know if you have earned the right. right. I, I must, must evaluate you. You must bear your true feelings to me. Yeah, what? You're going to test me? What, I have to fight some boss creature? Oh, oh no. Nothing, Nothing so barbaric. barbaric. All that I need is for some questions to be answered. Well, geez, can you spread this ideology to, like, the legendary birds and, and Groudon and Rayquaza? Because that would have been really helpful earlier on. However... Yeah, what the... I can't move. Gengar, you will not be doing the answering. Skipper, you will answer. Well, that's an interesting twist. G what are you saying? Why is someone else speaking for me? Let me do it. Gengar, Gengar your heart is interwoven with conflicting emotions. You will probably never show the truth within your heart. G what? Skipper will enter Gengar's heart. Please navigate carefully through Gengar's emotions. If you fail to draw out Gengar's true feelings, the curse will never be broken. Hey, Skipper! Don't you dare fool around! I'll make you pay for it! You have but one chance. Skipper, do your best. It is time. First of all, why does Gengar wish to break this curse? Well, on a surface level, it does seem to be just a whim, but... Surely Gengar wouldn't be pressuring us so hard to help him if he didn't genuinely want to help her. So, that's, that's a lie, lie, isn't it? it? Didn't, didn't Gengar abandon Gardevoir long, long ago? ago? Why, Why would Gengar, Gengar want to save her now? Well, honestly, I could see Gengar thinking either of these, but I think the nice thing to say is he's probably understanding what she's going through came to understand Gardevoir's feelings. What is it you claim to understand? What do you claim to be Gardevoir's feelings? Oh yeah, yeah, she definitely hates him, considering that she kept mentioning over and over again that she wanted to reunite with him someday. So obviously she still cares for him. I see. Gardevoir became a presence without a physical form because she bore the curse. But even then, Gardevoir never stopped caring for Gengar. Having learned that, Gengar announced to save Gardevoir. It makes sense. However, until now, Gengar had forgotten entirely about her. Correct? But now Gengar wants to save Gardevoir. Isn't that asking a lot? Now see, this is a tough question. Technically, I think it is asking a lot. 
But from a certain point of view, it's not. I mean, Gengar just wants to right a wrong that he made way back when. You, you say, say that's, that's not so. so. You, you believe, believe that, that this is another matter, matter and to help is, is only natural? natural? Well, that's what rescue teams are here for, is it not? That's, that's what, what you believe. believe. I, I understand, understand now. My, My questions, questions are, are finished. finished. Gengar, whether you have the right to break the curse or not, I will now render my judgment. The curse could not be lifted. Wait, it is most regrettable, but the curse on Gardevoir will last all eternity. Wait, wait a minute. Let me... let me say something. It's true. I abandoned Gardevoir and ran. I was afraid that the curse would fall on me. I had to get away. No matter what. That's what I thought. It didn't take long for me to forget about the curse and about Gardevoir. Many long years passed. But Gardevoir... She never forgot about me. One night... In Skipper's dream, Gardevoir said this, that she considered me an irreplaceable friend, and that she still believed we would meet again. Gardevoir kept thinking about someone like me. But I... how selfish I was. I lived carefree all this time. I realize now how selfish it was. It's not just Gardevoir. Team Lightspeed put up with my selfishness, and they've brought me here. I finally know what that's meant. Ugh. Wow, I butchered that. Sorry, guys. I finally know what I was missing. What I lacked. It was something for the others. A sense of gratitude. The lock bearing the curse. It has opened. Gardevoir. It worked, Gengar. Nine tails, but I don't know what you're saying. The curse has been broken. I cast my curse, enraged at your twisted heart. But when your heart gained what it was missing, the curse was shattered. The final key to break the curse was your sense of gratitude. Then Gardevoir. You may be reassured, Gardevoir has returned. She will soon awaken. However, that you were her partner in the past, Gardevoir will have no recollection of that. That doesn't matter. Gardevoir's back. That's enough for me. Wow, that's pretty brutal. Gardevoir kept remembering him through all of this. And now when she's finally brought back, she loses that memory? Ugh. Maybe it's just me, guys, but I always have a problem with stories where you lose your memory. Not because of the storytelling aspect, but because of just the thought. Like, I always imagine, what if I lose my memories? Like, that's a really scary thought to me. But anyways, thank you so much. My curse has been lifted. You did this for me, even though I've never met you before. I have no idea how to thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much for saving me. Good for you, God of War. Hey, Skipper, thanks for getting me through this. This is my thanks. And we get a mobile scarf, a very nice reward if I do say so myself. Adios. Oh wait, please. What is it now? Your name. Please, what is your name? Keh. The name's Gengar. Glad to meet you. My name's Gardevoir. I'm also glad to meet you. And just like that, they have a chance to start over. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. As always, I hope you all enjoyed it. And until next time, I pray that you all have a blessed day. See you guys then. Thank you.